All right, so I'm just out for an easy run today. The leaves are turning brown. Still beautiful though, check it out. So last week was my first ever 80K week. So that's, that's 50 miles, halfway to 100 miles per week. So that's, that's cool. Um, it was really easy. I felt like there was no issues. I was able to maintain the mileage, no problem. But of course, there's always the second week syndrome. <laughs> The week at a higher mileage always goes fine. And then the next week, that's when the problems start cropping up. So I've been having a little pain under my foot this week. So I'm taking it easier, backing off a little bit this week. And then we'll see next week, maybe I'll hit 80K again, etc. But I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how my training has gone over the last few weeks on Strava. And then we'll take a look at my training plan for the next few months over the winter. So let's do that. Alright guys, here we are in Strava. Let's take a look at my training log. So here it is. Um, and the week I was just speaking about in the intro is this week here. This first week of 80k. So as you know, I did my half marathon. That's back here, right? I recovered for a week. Did some easy build up again. I was slightly injured actually after the half marathon, so I needed some time to recover. And building up my volume down again a little bit before hitting that 80k week. Solid 80k week. Spreading out the mileage as much as possible. So you can see my longest run was actually just 18 kilometers. Um, that was in order to just spread it out as evenly as possible across the week because it was the first time with the new mileage. After that, as I said in the intro, I was sort of having that second week syndrome, you know, some, some minor niggles. So for the first few weeks of the, for, for the first few days, sorry, of the next week, I just did, um, well, some short runs there and then some cross training, cycling and cycling. So I just, I was just cycling a little bit uh, on the indoor bike at the gym and then back into running before hitting another ATK week and actually these I'm, I'm now this is today up here so i'm now in my third week aiming for 80k so i successfully managed to do two weeks of 80k each that's 50 miles so i've done 100 miles over this these two weeks and now i'm in this third week of, of 80k here so pretty happy about my uh, my volume lately it's been really really good um uh, been doing some long runs of 20k 16k 17k but spending a lot of time running because some of these long distances here like this one 17k and the one yesterday took over two hours to complete and that's because it's like super technical trail it's out in the forest there's a fair bit of elevation as you can see here it's about 500 meters of elevation um yeah technical trails takes a lot of time so I'm happy. I've been getting a lot of volume in my I'm working now in a phase of building up my um, my mileage. So let's jump from this training log over into my training plan and have a look at what I'm planning to do over the next few months. So here we are in Excel, uh, my training plan, um, pretty basic training plan, no real workouts or anything. And that's because I'm working on building mileage. So um, as you can see here, there's basically two uh, macro cycles. Um, there's the first one here leading up to, well, you know, reality is just one big macro cycle actually. It's just aerobic base building. That's what I'm going to do over the winter leading up to my next half marathon build up, which starts in the beginning of March 2019. And I'll get into uh, those races that I'm going to do next year in another video. But for now, let's just say I have a half marathon coming up in May. And I'm going to start the build up for that in March with specific workouts and that sort of thing. But before that time, I want to get my mileage up and I've been seeing the benefits really like from the mileage that I've been doing now the, the 80k weeks already, even though most of it is at an easy pace. 
my easy pace is becoming faster. Like I am definitely getting fitter from just a lot of easy running. So that volume is really key. So I want to get that volume up uh, to 90 kilometers before I start my half marathon build up next spring. So let's take a look at the weeks there. So there's one big macro cycle of aerobic base building. You can see the months going down here, the weeks going down here. So um, first sort of cycle is the what I call the base one, which is leading up to Christmas. Okay, so 52, the week 52, the last week of the year, that's the Christmas week. And that's a recovery week for me, as you can see here, I'm going to take a complete break from Monday through Thursday, I'm not going to run at all, just just around the Christmas days. And then after that, I start my base two phase, and then base three, and we'll talk about those phases now in short. So you can see here the kilometers that I'm doing. You can see here how many runs per week that I'm going to do. And this is the distance of the long run in kilometers. And then I have a description here and, and, some, and some details. We don't need to talk about that all too much. But basically, as you saw, that was my first week of ADK up here. And then I had that down week. And this is, are the three weeks. I'm currently in the middle of this week here, right? So that's what you saw in the log aiming for a 23k long run this Sunday. Then I'm going to step it down after three weeks of doing 80k, I'm going to step it down a little bit, right, go down to 55k 16k long run, just a little bit of a recovery week, just to be able to absorb the training that I've done uh, and be conservative in terms of potential injuries cropping up. So uh, as you can see here, it's all going to be easy as I'm increasing mileage. But this week, which and um, that's this week here, um, I'm going to do all easy plus one optional short strong aerobic run and a strong aerobic run basically means you're in the aerobic um, range so you're below lactate threshold but um, it's it's high end you know you're working pretty hard but it's definitely comfortable and that's actually what I'm going to do today it's optional because I wanted to see how I felt you know if I feel actually I don't necessarily know if I'm going to do it or not once I head out my run after this video, I'm going to gauge whether or not, you know, am I feeling great? Are my legs feeling great? In that case, I'll do the strong aerobic run. If not, I won't. And then same for next week, really optional short, strong aerobic run. Then we're jumping up to 90k. So this is the first week of 90k. And of course, I'm going to keep it all easy. There's no point in doing any hard running in the same week as I'm upping my mileage to 90k. Um, long run stays is 23 kilometers. I'm going to do eight runs per week. So basically Wednesdays and Saturdays, I'm doing two runs per day. And they're both very easy and pretty short recovery days. It's just very practical to do two runs sometimes. So after that 90 K week, I'm going to step it down to 70 K just a little bit of a breather after that high week, because I know of that second week syndrome that I spoke about earlier. After absorbing that a little bit, I'm going to step it back up to 90k for two weeks um, before Christmas. So two weeks of 90k just to sort of, you know, get used to that mileage um, up the long run distance from 23 to 25. And that'll be on the 23rd of December. And then bam, I'll take my recovery week. So that's good. And that that last week there of 90k, if I'm feeling good, again, I'll have that optional short, strong aerobic run that you can see here. But really, that's not so, so important. It's really just about easy building up that mileage, then again, building up again, 60k for the first week after Christmas, and then I'm going to head down to Nice in France. So the weather there is going to be much better than Norway at this time. There's going to be, you know, comfortable running weather, basically, no snow. Um, and so after one week of 60k here in Norway, I'm going to go down to France and bam, it's going to hit 90 again. And we're going to do that three week streak of 90 kilometers. And this is what I call solidifying. So I've touched on 90, I went down to 70 again, I went up to 90 again, two weeks this time. And now just to get it really solidified in my legs and be make myself comfortable with 90 kilometers, I'm going to do three weeks of 90k there. 
slowly upping the long run as you can see from 23 to 25 to 27 um, and then again th during these weeks I, I will include a short strong aerobic run okay so short meaning uh, I'll do a warm-up maybe 15 20 minutes of easy running I'll do a cool down at the end another 20 minutes of easy running and in the middle there I'll probably do 20 minutes to half an hour at just below lactate thresholds so maybe 80 percent of max heart rate maybe even as much as 85 percent of max heart rate just below lactate threshold still aerobic though um after that stepping down to 60k again just a bit of a recovery week i like to do those every every fourth week or so step down a little bit in mileage and intensity allow a little bit of recovery absorbing that training uh etc and you'll see i'll also include uh a session of strides fast runs basically short short fast sprints 30 30 meters that kind of thing uh, just to sort of prime the legs for what's to come in the next um, mesocycle which is base three base three now i'm used to 90k right 90k is something that i'm good with at this point so that means the whole of base three is going to be 90k, 90, 90, 90, as you can see. 60 again to recover before we start the half marathon buildup afterwards at 90k. But uh, in order to add some new adaptions, because we're now used to 90k, if I just kept running at 90k, sure, I'll, I'll still get aerobic adaptions, but I want to add in a new stress now just to, 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 to train myself even further. So long run goes back up from a little bit down again because I'm adding a new stress that I'm going to talk about in a minute. But then slowly working yourself up to 27k again, which is what I touched on there earlier in base 2. Anyway, the main focus for this period is keeping that mileage steady while doing one strong aerobic run plus one repetition speed training session at the track. So the strong aerobic run I've already explained, but as opposed to the last ones, this is an actual full-on strong aerobic run, whereas these ones were short strong aerobic run. So a full-on strong aerobic run is something I would say at least half an hour, probably 45 minutes, possibly even up to an hour at that uh, marathon pace, really. You know, when you're sub-threshold, you're really talking about marathon pace, the pace you could keep up for um up to three hours right so that's good each week i'll do one of those strong aerobic runs uh, as well as a repetition session at the track and that's essentially speed training so i'll go to the track and i'll do 200 meter reps or maybe maybe even 100 meter reps just um, neuromuscular training get those legs used to faster paced running because of course as I start my half marathon build-up, I'll start doing interval training again, VO2 max intervals. And I want my legs to be ready for the faster pace by then. So that's why I'll, why I'll do three weeks of uh, speed training leading up to that, just to prime the legs. While keeping that mileage the same, gaining those aerobic adaptions, working a little bit on those high-end aerobic adaptions through the strong aerobic run, and slowly just getting used to that long run moving up to about 27k and then as i start the half marathon build up i'll probably keep my long run between 25 and 27k throughout the build up and that will be my longest long run 27k before the half marathon and as i said i have the half marathon in may so starting in march i'll have two months of proper training and then some tapering in terms of races i have two options here down in france there's a uh, Oh, I'm bad at pronouncing it in French, but Trail de Aise or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Trail de Aise. Aise is a place, so it's a trail run in Aise, basically. 11k or 19k, that's what. There's a 30k as well, but I'm thinking maybe I'll do the 11k and I'll do it as the strong aerobic run, right? 11k, I can probably, depending on the elevation, I can probably do that in a little over an hour or so. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll do that as my strong aerobic run probably. Possibly also do a half marathon even at a very easy pace or a 10k at a sort of harder pace. But that comes in my easy week right before building the starting the build up. So I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do that one. Maybe I'll just do it as my long run, 
20k long run, right? So I could do the half marathon as a as an easy long run, maybe, maybe just as a social event. Um, that's it, really. That is my training over the next few few weeks, um, few months even. So I'm excited. Uh, after I did my Lydiard coaching certification course, I have become more more um, I guess uh, inspired about aerobic base building really getting that mileage up and seeing the benefits of just volume you know just doing the volume so even though it's easy mileage even though I'm running fairly easy most of the time I'm gaining adaptions aerobic adaptions from just having that volume so that's what I'm going to work on for the for the next winter um, we'll do another video where I'll talk about my whole year what I'm planning on doing next year but this is this is the next few months and this is what I'm excited about right now um, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do so if you're interested in a training plan as I said this is a very basic training plan there's no real workouts here or anything it's just sort of an overview of mileage increasing if you're interested in that I'm I would be happy to do you know co uh, offer you coaching I, I am working on uh, launching an official coaching program for the long trail but if you're interested in me making a plan like this for you maybe just for how to increase mileage safely over a few months or uh, maybe you want some specific workouts maybe you need a half marathon build up program anything like that I would be more than happy to to offer that to you you can contact me through the Lone Trail Facebook page and we can work out some prices and talk about what your um, what your goals are and and all that good stuff so please do that if you're interested in the meantime subscribe to this channel of course and uh, check out some of my other videos on training plans and uh, um, similar videos to this um, all right hope you're having an awesome day and that your running is going well post a comment down below to tell me about what you're doing for the next few months over the winter and uh, i'll uh, see you in the next episode bye <laughs>